This is a 2024 politics now with Sunday's deadline to register for Rhode Island's presidential primary fast approaching. And for the first time in the state, some 17 year olds can cast a ballot. NBC 10 political reporter Brian Crandall is here with what's being done to get them involved. Brian? Patrice and Jean, 17 year olds who will turn 18 by the general election in November can vote in the primary, the result of a law passed in the state last year. And there are about 2,000 teenagers who fall into that category. The April 2nd presidential primary will feature a first in Rhode Island. Some 17-year-olds will be able to vote. I think practically it makes a lot of sense, and symbolically I think it is important as well um, to try and get young people more involved. Brown University student Logan Danker heads a group that tries to get young people engaged and registered. If they're going to be able to vote in the general election, it does make sense that um, they'd also be able to vote in the primary uh, because ultimately that's going to be the, the candidate they're going to be choosing in November. We're trying to use social media as best we can. Secretary of State Greg Amore is trying to get the word out about the new rule. And I do that in person with them all the time. Uh, I'm at uh, probably two high schools a week uh, where I do a lesson on voting rights and then we talk about their responsibility to register and vote and we bring up this this bill. Amore says his team has been working with student groups to get the message across and he'll be at a last minute registration pizza party in Portsmouth Sunday where they'll talk about the issue. I think being engaged no matter who the candidates are really is really important. But Danker and others may face an uphill climb with younger folks this year. I think young people in general see the particularly the presidential candidates as not really being representative whether that's age or you know gender race they don't really they kind of feel that they're out of touch with with the issues that are important to them. Registering to vote can be done online and towns across the state will be accepting registration forms on Sunday. Just check the hours and location ahead of time because it's not necessarily at the respective town halls. I'm Brian Crandall, NBC 10 News.